Elias, at this point, you believe that you can take, at least take, I don't think you can take full control of the security systems, but you can definitely take control of the security systems in your, in your current vicinity. As far as hmm. places where this ship has been, has gone and went, uh, I mean, you name it. It's been to Omega, it's been to the Citadel, it's been to various places around. Oh, it was, just more, it was just more a history of when and where, because I can probably marry that up to the data that we've got on disappearances. Sure. Yeah, it matches yeah. up. Yeah. It matches up. Um, this is your guy. Awesome. That information goes winging away to um, the chief. Sorry, can, can I ask what sort of systems do we have in the area, aside from door locks? You can probably um, summon some drones into the room, uh, and they will pretty much act like the regular drones that you normally summon. Right. Okay. Uh, other than that, I don't think... I mean, you can sound off an alarm, you can turn on the sprinkler system, you can do stuff like that, but... Yeah, okay. there isn't like a yeah. turret gun or anything in here. Oh no, I, I didn't think there would be. I just wanted to know what we had in, had it out. Yeah. Options. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? That's up to you. You want to cut some sort of deal? deal. I want to speak to you privately. Fine. As long as you can promise the release of my daughter. Well, I didn't say I can promise that. I said that was up to you. I'll go up to talk to you. Excellent. If anyone follows you, the deal is over. Got it? Got it. And take the gun, show it, just set it on the ground. Walk down the hall to your right. Everyone else, I can see you. Stay where you are. Go down the hall. Awesome. So while that's going on, I hack the security feed so that it shows a loop of us staying exactly where we are. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> Perfect. While you're doing that, Sesepia, I'm going to actually show you the map of the actual ship, finally. Cool. This session, though. Yes. That session, though. <laughs> okay. Sesepia, go into a side room over here. The door behind you closes when you go into this room. So basically, the door here and the door here are shut. Okay. You, when you go into the room, um, a hologram image appears before you, before you, and you see the man Simon, um, um, in a holographic, as like again, as a holographic image. Pussy. It would be too much for you to go up yourself. I have to keep an eye on your friends, right? Re meanwhile, um, meanwhile, Elias is working his magic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very well. Now, he says... You want to talk to me? Let's yes, talk. he says. You want to take your daughter back. Well, you see, he says, that's going to be a bit of a problem because I don't think that she is going to be placed in the right hands. I'm trying to do what's best for the girl. I know what it's like to be where she's at. My parents didn't understand me either. I had to make them understand. With your own special way, I'm guessing. Yes, of course. I have my special ways. <laughs> I imagine he laughs. just as you decided what was best for you, I think that Talia should be the one to decide what's best for her. He says, it's not that simple. Sometimes, he said, other people know what's better for them. Especially when they're that young and impressionable. I am just making sure that she is being impressed in the right direction. Based on your opinion, my opinion is different. My opinion is the only one that matters here! You are in my ship, and I'm the one that's calling the rules! And then he pulls back. Sorry. Didn't mean and, to get and I thought dramatic I had there. An anger problem. What were we saying? 
it seems you're just as easy to snap. And you've already spoken that you've lost this other Anna girl. How do I know that she's not going to get lost? Um, he grins. Your daughter, he says, is stronger than any of the others that I've ever rescued. She has the ability to see others coming. She knows, feels, even senses their thoughts. Don't you understand? The full potential. Did you even know of her gifts? Did you even know that she could do any of those things? I did. I did. I was the one who found out all of that. You abandoned her. So don't come into my ship and tell me that I don't know what's best for her. I know what she like what she enjoys for breakfast. I took the time to find out everything that she likes. Shows, movies, even where she's ticklish. You've touched her? Not like that. I want to see her. Where is she? I sent her to bed. All of the craziness that was happening there, I didn't want to disturb her. She's had a long day. It's way past her bedtime. 11 o'clock-ish or so, I think. If you are going to take her, what will you do to her? I would raise her to not be ashamed of her powers. Raise her right. Make sure she has everything she could ever want. But also, sure, the world that she lives in. I would definitely help focus her biotic abilities. Just as my own mother did for me. She, it's not just about you, though. And it's not just about me. She can help us, too. Help our family. Her abilities. She can help us get what we need to survive. You look like you can take care of yourself. What family do you speak of? Your, the, all the biotic kids that you've kidnapped? Saved, he says. I said SAVED! Yes, they're my family. We look out for each other. We take care of each other. Because we know the outside world will never understand us. Did anyone spend any time to try to understand me? No. Nobody understands me except for my family. But yet, I think Tali would think differently. If she was right here, right now, I think she'd have a separate, a different opinion. She doesn't need someone like you influencing her. What guarantee do you have that you will be able to protect her from the ugliness of the world? Everyone who will ridicule her, prosecute her, for being merely who she is. I want to protect her from that. The thing is though, what you're thinking is complete isolation. You should face that, become, be able to become hardened from that, so that you can, no matter what anyone throws at you, you can weather through that. I have been and experienced that kind of hatred. I think I can be the one to guide her through that. What you see is just simply just running away. Meanwhile, what is going on with Elias and the rest of the group? <gasps> <laughs> good job, Eric. That was really, really good. Dude. Throwing you in the deep end, Eric. Yeah, really You're nice. You're doing great. Very well done. Uh, You're doing great. Oh my god. That's so You're doing great. Weird. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Elias and the rest of the group. We've been chatting oh. silently. Yes, we have been. <laughs> Little marker board, just kind of like, <laughs> like. 
communicate through writing. <laughs> So yeah, effectively, I'm, I'm I'm trying to create a loop, so it looks like yeah, as, on as many cameras as we can, including the ones that aren't in this room, to give us some cover while we run around run around the ship. Okay. Um, anything that I have access to is now showing a looping image of the way things were a few seconds ago. Okay, that's fine. So where do you guys go? Where are you guys going um, now that you can I get can I get a can I download the ship's floor plans? Yes, you can. Great. Ships full plans, and then I want to cross reference that with any of the life signs that we have, so I can see if I can find... Whoop. Ship floor plan. Oh, awesome. Oh, this place is huge. It was, yeah, it was a big true. frigate. Yep. Oh, lovely. So Where are the out. life signs? Holy shit. Life, so there's a big room in here. This is, uh, this is actually walled off. So this, this room yep. is walled off. So there is a room over here. The entrance, however, is from this side. The entrance is from this side. There seems to be six life signs in there. There is one life... There are... There's one life sign in here. And then there's Isn't another it's... life... Like here, in the cockpit. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. And then there's another mm. life sign... That is right here. Okay. And then, of okay. course, there's Sesepia. Of course, there's Sesepia in here yep. by herself. You notice that Sesepia is in a room by herself. Okay. We need to get over here. How much time do you think we have? Oh, well, as long as the Sippy keeps him talking, we'll be fine. He always did like to talk. Oh, so you two were involved. <laughs> as I mentioned before, another time, another place. Another universe. Hopefully this guy likes to talk as much as the one you know. It seems a little bit more than usual. In fact, Officer Alta should consider herself very lucky in this situation. Come on, we're wasting time, let's move. Um, we'll try to plot a course around to the other side of the ship, and if I can lock down the, the doors for these six, I'm gonna do it. You can do it! Very good idea. Very <laughs> good. Doors are locked. Smart, Elias. That's why we bring you along. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, there's geez. one more. I'm sorry, uh, Sink. There's one. There, uh, Elias. There's one more life sign that I forgot over here. Over here. Great. Oh, okay. So we got three. And... Well, I don't know. Three that. possibilities. Well, while we're going over there, I'm going to try uh, go slow and quiet, and I'm going to try to find out which one of those those two we want to go for. So which one, where, so can you move, people who are moving, can you please move on the map so I know where you're going, where you're heading? Sure. Uh, you're uh, saying that the entrance is over here, but these are still corridors? This is the entrance into the large room. Okay, so yes. that's one that we've locked down, but there's still yep. corridors. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Anara is good at shooting, but right now he's outside of a mech. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So that's going to alter my decisions. Looks like Sink is on the move. Should we take... I mean, I, well, I guess before I go, do we each take a side? Um, go? Let's split up, gang. We can cover Sink if uh, our car can go with uh, Mr. Elias. Yeah, I'm gonna split up is usually a really bad idea. Also, I can't really control all the systems. Yeah, stick so together. So let's stay together. If you Girl. wander into a, an area that... He still has camera access to. He's gonna see you. Yeah, yeah. He can see the camera All looping right. in the in the cargo area, but not everywhere else. You, those yes. are not looping. I've got to hack those separately, guys. I'm gonna have the same problem from last time. All there right, we go. Dude. All right, then I'll cover um, up the rear. All right. So you guys make your way down, um, and then are you guys going past this corridor here? You're trying to head over there. All right. Uh, we're trying to head over towards this room here. 
Okay. Yeah. I, I guess. Fine. Um, and while we're on the move, I'm gonna try to bring up the camera feed so I know who's in the room. Okay. Uh, you will make a tech. Go ahead and make a teching, hacking, or whatever, whatever hacking. check. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. I can do that. <coughs> um, where's my card sheet gone? Here we go. Electronic devices. Ooh. Oh, fail. Oh, okay. Oh. Here's what happened. So let me get back to Sasepia in a moment. Sure. Sasepia, um, Simon will say, let me offer you this. If you want to be able to raise your girl the way you see fit, then why don't you join our family? We can take care of each other. And you can always be there for your girl. I have a mission that needs to be attended to. What kind of a mission is more important than taking care of your daughter? The lives of many, many universes out there. Is this a dangerous mission? Nothing that I can't handle. And you would put your daughter in that situation? Far from harm's way, of course. I don't understand. Are you going to have her follow you everywhere into danger? Who's going to be watching her while you're on this mission? We have people. It's not just me. I have a whole, a whole group of friends. So you will trust her under the wing of other people. Sorry. Random strangers she doesn't know. But people that I know. What kind of irresponsible mother are you? Again, I know these people. I fought with them. I trust them. I don't. I imagine you have never met these people. And you've never met my family. You don't know what they've been through either. Who are you to judge us? Who are you to judge any of us? And why should I let her in the hands of someone who is using drugs? Someone who's been... I've seen the remnants in the bathroom sink that you left behind. What makes you think that you are in the right state of mind to take care of her? He says, I just... I just am, he says, and he starts getting into a little bit of a temper tantrum, um, getting acting really childish at this point, um, very unstable, and and then his eyes go down, and, and and you hear on the other end of the hologram that there's a beeping noise. <laughs> he looks down, and he says, he starts. You see him. You see him. Um, uh, fiddling around, like typing something, and then he he curses uh, loudly um, and starts frantically typing something. Elias, you are able to realize that you've been caught, and um, if you don't act fast, you believe that somebody is probably going to set up the alarm, the alarm system. Countermatch is coming in right now. <laughs> Try it again. We'll make another roll and don't roll poorly. <laughs> you can do it. 29. Nice, 29. <laughs> Elias, oh my God. you are able to stop the uh, alarm from going off, and you are able to lock this door. Woo. Awesome. Um, the and a frustrated rage, Simon looks up, cursing like a sailor, and then he says, "Fine, game on." And then he turns he turns off the screen. Right. You forgot to say Simon Says. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, no. snap. <laughs> All right. Am I able to get out of the room? Snap. Yeah, you can get, you, you, um, you uh, try to get out of the room, but it's locked. I'm going to be honest, Anar really flinches when you say that. <sighs> I try to contact, I try to like radio, mm -hmm. try to contact him. You can contact, you can contact your companions. 
Hey guys, I'm locked in this room over here. Um, okay, I guess he, okay, I guess okay, he knows, okay. I guess I think he knows that you guys are walking about. We kind of mm -hmm. gathered that. Better move fast, then. <clears throat> Sink a car. See if you can take a head him off the cockpit. Um, <laughs> Look, I think. And I'll check the, uh, check the side room. As long as you guys can try to find Talia, um, <sighs> there isn't any time to waste. The most important thing is to get her out of here. Yeah, there's two locations. We don't know which one she's in. Out of character, did he say where she was tucked in? When uh, he didn't we say. Having... He didn't say. He didn't say. Okay. I'm gonna try to. Okay, I'm gonna uh, see if I can try to use the biotic thing ability. Try to tap into her again. Is that um, possible? Meanwhile, I'm gonna try to unlock the door. <laughs> which one? Oh yes. In Go ahead and try to unlock the door. Up. <clears throat> While you're unlocking the door, you can hear um, through the feed that your the security feed that you get that you hear Simon frantically um, yell, uh, saying something through a, Yes, through the PA system, not in the global PA system, but a PA system into the big room. Mm. And he says, "Everyone, wake up! We're being attacked! We're being attacked!" Um, he says, "Fall into formations," and he's only saying that in. The the room that's locked. Time. Yes. The room that, that Elias just locked. <laughs> nice. And at my door just You will be able to right? open Sasepia's door. Oh, I toss sink a welding torch? I already have see one. If you can... Oh, see, why don't you see, why don't you doubly seal that door? On it. Uh... I'll cover you. It will stay oh, with Elias. Sasepia, you can come out now. Goody, okay. Um, so I'll get to the door, Harkin. You... You get to the door and you can hear pounding, pounding from the other side of the door. I'm gonna. Just... Yeah, these guys really want to get out of here, and then I'll flick my wrist and my like a my handle kind of turns to like a welder, and I'll weld the frame shut down the middle. Nice, nice. <laughs> you go, you break into the room, and um, it's uh, it's uh, decorated as a nursery. Uh, there's toys on the ground. Uh, there's a bed, a really nice, fluffy-looking bed uh, that looks like somebody was lying on it, but now whoever's on it is not there anymore. Yes. One step behind him. Oh, after here, now look back to Ellis. She's not in there. Damn it! Uh, scanning again for life signs. Where are, the, are they still there? Uh, yeah. It looks like that uh, the, the, there is no life sign in that room. It seems like the uh, there are three now. The first, whoever was over here is no longer there, but there are three people in this room. Three people in this room. Okay. In the central chamber, he's got two other people in there with him. <sighs> Coward. Oh, yeah. All right. Looks like there's two doors, right? Yes, there are. Yeah. Let's make sure we have both of them covered then. Give me All a right. second. I, for some I'm reason, I had to like a... four squares. Can I summon a ton of drones to go in there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can summon a ton of drones in there. You don't have this. You don't have access to that. The security system of that room. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Well, in that case, I will just go. Well. I take out my sniper rifle. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have to hack into the room in order to open the doors. Ah. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're ready, Elias. Hurry. We're both positioned at both ends. Yeah, I got my back against the wall next to the car. Like, just... 29. 29. Bam. 29, 29. That's 29. a fairly average roll, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you keep running. You keep rolling high. That's what I'm saying. Dang. Well, well, that's what I mean. But well, I get plus seventeen as a base, so. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who? Uh, so you guys rush in. Mm -hmm. I hang back at the doorway. Yeah, me too. Anara will cover Sisepia. Okay. You guys um, are hacking into the door, and then you hear a beep as the door shaft starts to open up. So Elias is standing outside. Sink is mm -hmm. outside as well? Yeah. Or is he 
I'm, 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 my back's against the wall next to the door. I'm outside, yes. Okay. Yes. I Everyone who rushes into the room, you're going to have to roll me a, I think it's a strength check to resist being picked up by a singularity. <gasps> oh, sh- No! Oh. Uh, stamina or something else? Uh, I think it's strength. Strength. Straight up strength. I think yep. it's strength. Okay. Uh, Tara, you'll be fine. I got a 22. <laughs> So, I hope so. Uh, I'm, I'm in trouble. Depends on how well he rolled. But... Yeah, it depends on how well he rolled. Okay. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh wow! That is that is horrific! Oh dear lord. Zeppa is I... on roof. You need to gain a couple of pounds, girl. Uh... Your skin and bones. Okay, here's mine. What? Oh, Jimmy? What? <laughs> Well, who did you think the last person was? <laughs> oh, no. Of course. Of course it's Drimmy. So, um, I see oh, that... Hey, oh, yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> I got hit hard So, Anara got a 23? No. Oh, no, he failed. I, I got, got a 22. I got a 22. Okay. I got, I got a 11. A I got a 2. And Sesepia got a 2. Okay. So, uh, Sesepia and, and, um, and Anar are... Uh, caught inside of a of a uh, singularity. Arkara, you managed to resist um, from the singularity. Do you? But you see, um, you do see Simon, um, and it looks like there is uh, Talia is on the ground. She seems to be unconscious. She doesn't seem to be awake at all. And Drimmy seems to be in another world. Like he seems to be hallucinating and he doesn't know where he is and he seems very distraught um, and uh, uh, when you burst into the room um, it looks like Drimmy raises up his hammer towards your direction but he doesn't move from his spot and um, uh, at that point Simon says hold up everybody hold up because he appears, he appears to have two pistols in his hand and one is pointed towards Drimmy and the other one's pointed at Oh. Uh, at the moment of seeing Simon, Anar is going to be absolutely enraged, and as he's swinging around, he's just screaming, and this one's going to strangle you! He says, he, he yells, he yells out, if you come any closer, I will shoot them both, I swear to God! Don't think I won't. Coward! Where did this whole family thing come from, then, if you're willing to shoot her? I um, got my original family first, so they still take priority overall. No matter how gifted, she, how gifted she is, they still have to come first. Would you like me to suck all the air out of their room then? Is that what you're asking? Is that what you're asking? The air? Oh yeah, that's um, exactly what I'm asking. Are, are you saying oh that out God. loud? Renegade. Oh yes, I'm saying that out loud. Ooh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty renegade right there, bro. Yeah, that's. Ooh. Oof. That is cool. You do anything funny, he says. If you don't play by the rules, I am going to shoot them both. As if I'll let you. Try me, he says as he grins. Oh, I will. Try me. While that's happening, I'm going to uh, activate my electronics and then tactical cloak, because that's the only way I can get it off reliably. <laughs> okay, I am invisible for... Um, that would have reduced it to 11, so I beat that by a 15. Okay, that's so fine. I've got uh, yeah I've got eight turns of invisibility. Hey, okay. well. you're invisible. Just keep in mind that does that doesn't protect you from walking into a singularity. Just nope, so you know. but it does mean that I can take a very nice aim at his uh, head with my sniper rifle and shoot him. That's fine. <laughs> At this point, Simon says, "You have until this is the single. You have until my singularities go off to choose one or the other, not both. You one just, or the other." You sick bastard! Don't call me sick! He yells out. <clears throat> I'm sure you people are sick. You are the one who broke into my house. If no one's objecting, I'm shooting him. Do it. Go for it. Oh, you're doing it. Can you fire through singularity? Is that is it oh, not going to get affected question. at all by the singularity? I mean, it might it might not it might still penetrate through it, but I'm thinking that the gravity field is at least going to 
veer the shot. Veer. You can uh, try. What, maybe I, the I weapon to target side the computer can yeah. work against it? Say that again? I was thinking about the uh, weapon's targeting computer. It's supposed to uh, counteract these uh, sort of situations. That's true. True. That's what the aim's for. True. I am taking an action to aim. Okay. Okay. Take an action to aim. Um, are you going now? Are you going to fire? If you're going to fire, then I'm going to have to ask you to roll. Yes, I am going to fire. Go oh ahead. man! Akara, sink. Attacking yes. in three, two, one. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> um. As soon as I hear him count down, I'm getting ready to charge. <laughs> That's oh, a 20 in a wall die. 20 in a wall oh, die. Oh, goodness. 23. Okay. So, is Arkara um, the only one who can reach Sesepia? I mean, reach. Uh, since Sesepia and. Um, Sesepia and Panar are up on the. Are up on the um, Singularity. In the singularity, that means um, our car is the only one who can actually make a move for Simon. Yep. Right. Or or for or for the girl. Who are you running after? You're running after Simon. Or are you running after Talia or or? I, I'm trying to run after? in front of Talia to shield her. I have a quick question. Oh, so um, everything happens in slow motion. <gasps> oh no. Elias squeezes the t the the trigger on his sniper rifle rifle and it fires the bullet shoots through penetrating through the singularity it whizzes past anar's head it whizzes past and grazes Sesepia's cheek as leaving like a, a mark of blue blood across her cheek as it whizzes past um it then um gets slightly uh, veered off of course um, f due to the due to the mass effect field that's generated by the um, singularity however it still manages to hit Simon smack on his right temple mm. just above the eyebrow um, he gasps as his head throttles from the impact of the gun of the of the bullet and Upon impact, you hear both of his pistols fire as he falls back. Arkara rushes forward. She roll a initiative, Arkara. Oh man! Oh man! It's probably oh, man, the man, most man. important. Oh, it's probably the most important initiative oh, roll you're gonna play this entire game right now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Um. Can I use parallel? By the way, does that, does that one earn me a renegade point for that? <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I want to give oh. I want to give Sesepia Paragon a renegade point for being for being willing to go talk to Simon alone. A Paragon point. Kara, this is a big one. This is a big roll. No pressure. Oh. Come on, Kara, you can come on, you can do this, Misty. Oh, no. <laughs> so my question is, do you have any renegade or paragon points? Yes. I was okay. asking if I could use one. You're, well, you're allowed it, to use it. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I will allow this because if it's a critical thing, you're allowed to use it. Okay, so I will let you use that to add. Um, I think I wouldn't let you add 15 to it because that's what that's normally for like verbal Sorry, things. Since it's not a dialogue thing, you can add 10 to it, which still gives you a 20. Yes. So we'll let you add 10, 20. You uh, try to push Atalia off to the side. Um, as the gun fires, you're able to, um, you're not fast enough to keep the gun from hitting you, however, you still take about uh, 15 points of damage to the shoulder. Yeah. Take 15 points of damage to the shoulder. However, on the opposite side of the room, no. um, uh, there is a big, uh, loud snap as if, a, as if a, a bullet like penetrated right through a melon and blood splatters on the oh, wall no. outside as oh. as Drimmy falls over to the floor. The bullet cl um, goes right into his head and he falls. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. No. Through the head. Oh, 
so uh, I'm guessing the singularity snaps out, or is it still... The cool? singularity stops, <laughs> and um, after all of that, there's silence in the room again. Not for long, because Sink's going to run over... Jimmy, no! He's going to run over to his body and, <laughs> and see what he can do. Uh... Uh, uh, it's like trembling right now. You try to uh, stop the bleeding, you try to do what you can, but uh, as you are looking through Jimmy, you realize it, it went right through, through his head. It went right into his head. He died upon impact. There's nothing you can do. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why, you son of a bitch? And he's gonna pull out his gun and he's gonna walk up to Simon and he's just gonna keep like, he's gonna just shoot like 20 times. Like, <laughs> you fire into, if, if nobody's stopping Sink, he fires into Simon's lifeless body. Every time a bullet hits his body, his body like spazzes or shakes upon the impact. The echoes of the shots, uh, the the sound of the shots echo down the hallway as he, in rage, fires more bullets into the lifeless body of the bi crazed biotic. I pick up Talia and uh, cradle her, trying to keep her away from Sink. Talia seems to be, with the sound of the bullets, she seems to be coming too. It almost seems like Talia was sort of given some sort of a sedative of some sort. So she seems very, like, disoriented, like she's not really sure what's going on. A motion to Sophia. Sophia, we need to get her out of here. She can't yes. see us. No, she can't. Pick her up and leave the room. Consequences, guys. Oh. You chose to bring Jeremy along. <laughs> Consequences of choices. No. Uh, that's what makes this, but that's what makes this uh, game as good as it is. Yeah. So. Oh. Poor Jeremy. Um. No one's gonna know for a while. Out of character, like I'm literally at a loss for words. Um, but I guess after his gun finally overheats, he's gonna, I'm not trying to sound gruesome, but he's gonna start, like, bashing Simon's Oof. body, like, he's gonna start, like, pounding on him. Is, uh, is anyone, are, are people letting him do that? Or, or? Anar ain't stopping him. Okay. I'm outside the room holding Talia. Yeah, I'm with Sisepia and Talia. Anar's just watching. And he's just kind of, Sink's just kind of cursing at Simon over and over again. I'm gonna put a hand on. I'm putting a hand on Sink's shoulder. Can you get an imprint? <sighs> he stops and thinks. Is is it even really worth it? Up to you. You know those words you gave me back in the mid bay. I've been thinking about them and I. I can't do it. Okay. I can't. I'm sorry, man. It's another person I've lost. Anar actually approaches Sink and puts a tentacle on his shoulder, but he doesn't say anything. Why is it every time I try to do something, there's nothing that I can do? Nara visibly flinches at that. I'm nothing but a failure. Hey. You're not a failure. Look at me, I'm a monster. Um... Quarians look at cybernetics a bit differently to humans. Yeah. 
Nar will say, you want to see a true monster? Well, look at what used to be that puddle. <laughs> You're right. What do you think it takes um, to become that? I just, I just feel like I could have been better at Jimmy. Just like I could have been better at Beatrice. Another chance wasted. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Um, Anar looks at Elias and then the body. And then back to him. I nod. Uh, Anar will lead Sink out. Is somebody taking... Um... Jimmy with them. That's what the uh, silent exchange was. Elias yep. will help to get Jimmy. Anar, however, notices Jimmy's hammer on the floor, and Anar picks it up. It looks heavy, but but when you if you I guess you're trying to pick it up, not nece not necessarily thinking you can budge it, but it. It feels a lot lighter than it actually is, than it actually appears to be. I guess he'll take it up out of respect. You guys make your way out of the horror of the ship, not saying a it's word, slaughterhouse. unless necessary. This moment was probably the one that affected you each physically and mentally. Many of you are a lot more broken now than you ever were when you came in. Some in more ways than one. You emerge out of the ship. The rain has finally stopped. You can still hear the rumble of thunder in the distance, but there are no more drops. In the silence of the night, the sirens can, come, can be heard coming in as the squad cars arrive. The police officers uh, file in. You explain, Elias explains to them the situation. I think of, of all five of you, Elias is probably the one that uh, is the most stable at the moment and explains to them what happened. The police officers will apprehend the different, the six people that were inside. Again, various ages between the ages of 15 to 21. Um, humans, drells. There's, a, there's even a Vorcha in the mix as well. Um, they look very scared, frightened. One of them tries to resist the cops, but the f cops are able to throw to shoot a tranquilizer as the uh, one of the kids tries to resist arrest. Uh, the cops said that they will do their best to at least notify their individual families and each of them will be tried individually for whatever involvement they may or may not have had with um, this Simon character. They bring out a body bag for Simon himself. I guess you guys will will insist that you take Drimmy. Absolutely. Take care of Drimmy yourselves. Mm. Yep. You guys load yourselves up onto the ship. Again, not saying a word to anyone. Mridi, um is in the kitchen when you come in and it looks like she for whatever reason um she woke up randomly in the middle of the night like something shook her awake and she couldn't sleep so she is in the kitchen right now uh, making herself some tea or warm milk to try to sleep and um in her hand you see that um she currently has uh, some pen and paper, and it looks like she's scribbling on something, uh, schematics of some sort. 
Um, anyone who's paying close attention, probably not, but for the audience who's watching, anyone who may be paying close attention would notice that these are schematics that she's planning on using at the tech off she was supposed to have with Meridi to determine who was the smarter one between the two. There was the tech off oh, that they challenged yeah, each other to do. Oh. So she's got this sheet ready for for determining which one between the two of them is smarter, this Meridi tech off, and then Meridi looks up and sees you guys come in and she notices the sad faces. And she looks concerned and she says, what happened? Akara just quietly goes to her and just gives her a hug. Oh, Akara, she returns the hug back. Sweetie, talk to me. What's what's going on? I can tell something is dreadfully, dreadfully wrong. You might need to sit down for this. <sighs> yes, sure. Um, T, she asks you as and everybody else. I just shake my head. Do I need to make more? No. She uh, takes her mug and then she sits down and says, Okay, what happened? Arkara helplessly looks at the others. Like, help me out here. <laughs> Jimmy. He... Got shot through the head. He didn't make it. She doesn't say anything at first. She um, she puts her hand on her face as if in disbelief. By the goddess, no. No, it's not true. That... Of course it is, she says. Of course it's true. By the goddess. I was wondering, she says, I, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep. I, it's almost like, it makes sense. I don't... I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. She's still in She's still in a shade of state of shock. I'll squeeze her shoulder and you don't have to say anything. Take your time. Where is he? She asks. His body is... We took... We brought him with us. Let me back. Who did it? Who killed him? The guy that we were out looking for. Simon. Is he dead? She yes. asks quickly. Yes. Very. She then says, Good. Uh, by the way, just in case uh, you guys probably noticed things down in the uh, med bay. No, actually, the, uh, the, cargo, the cargo hold. Yeah, the cargo oh. hold. Oh, Is that where you bring the body in the cargo hold? No, no. Uh, well, no. He like Murdy's uh, Drimmy's area, like her workspace. Yeah. He's in there, like. Okay, and Drimmy is being placed. Remind your in the med bay. And Drimmy's being placed in the med bay. Um, Cyrus is currently asleep. I don't know. If, he's not in the, in, he's not asleep in the, he has his own separate, like, compartment. Yeah. So I don't know if you're going to wake him or you're not even going to bother because it's not like he's going to be able to do anything. No, I'm not going to wake he's him. He's asleep at the moment. No. No. Sink goes down into the, uh, to Dremi's area. I don't know if anyone else is there with him. Right now, I think Arkara is in the, is in the kitchen still. Elias and Sisepia and Anar, where are you guys going to be? Um, Anar is going to be by Anar himself. Anar in the kitchen and probably going to be leaving. I imagine I'd put Talia in my room, kind of like lay her in the bed, just have her rest. Yeah. She's, yeah, just have her rest. I think she definitely yeah. wants to fall asleep again. Sorry, look, I, I got to, um, 
like a, um, yeah. I'm going to leave the kitchen and head to my own uh, quarters. Okay. And go pull out my octopus, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Spend some time with my pet. Bevan, um, uh, when you approach his tank, he greets you the way he normally greets you by, you know, taking his tentacles and climbing his way up towards the top. Um, I open up the lid and stick my arms in. <laughs> Bevan has changes into an orangish color, which is what normally happens when he's happy to see you. And, he's, and he sticks out his tentacles um, towards your fingers. After a little while, though, it's the color in his... Uh, the color of the octopus starts to turn into more of a... Uh, deep bluish color, which almost seems like he can tell that you're feeling kind of down. Somehow he can sense it. Almost as if he'll communicate with you yeah. that he knows that you're feeling yeah. sad for some reason. Thanks. Thanks, bud. Hope you had a good day. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the shot. Are you feeling guilty, Creator Elias? <laughs> yep. That man seemed like it would be impossible to reason with him. I think that in the long run, we should be happy that we were able to leave the premises with the number of lives that we did. Oh, I know the rational argument about it, Pi, but that's one of the joys of being organic. It's not really much of a comfort sometimes. I understand. Creator Elias. Yeah, I know. My apologies for sounding insensitive. No, it's okay. It's what you say when you think it's going to help. I'd have said the same thing. That is what I am here for, Creator Elias. <laughs> I am trying to help. I know. Thanks. Do you believe that we need to keep a closer eye on Sync in the meantime? Probably. It's probably a good idea. Are you worried that he might blame you for what happened? I wouldn't blame him if he did. I think it would be best for me to shut down for now. Talk to you later. Good night, Creator Elias. Good night, Pi. Sink is, and Sesepia is with, so Sesepia, I guess, is with his girl, and Anar is where? Uh, in one of the halls. Anar floats by himself in one of the, probably the rec areas. He's just thinking quietly to himself. And then he hears it. <laughs> he doesn't really react right away, he just slowly looks up a little. <laughs> he doesn't look around. Run, run, run. Now he's looking around. You can't catch me. And then he looks in the uh, one of the hallways and he sees a silhouette of a human with dead eyes. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> Anar starts to feel very numerous amount of eyes start to form on him. He can feel the anger in many, the sadness in some, the, the fear in others, all drilling down on him. And he starts to pull out one of his vials, not even shaking, and he's still looking kind of down, his face dark. And the one figure that was laughing shakes its head. You can't run from us forever, little Hanar. And he pops the top. 
you can run, but... And he pulls up the vial. You can't. And he swigs it. Hide, 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 hide. It all fades away. Mm-hmm. The eyes start to dim. And he holds that empty vial. And his face is very dark. Tosses it across the room into the trash. And with that, he just kind of floats off back to his hold. Sink, you are in the hold right now. Is there anything that you're doing or saying that we should know as the audience? Yeah, uh, before, is anybody going to come down and meet him or no one? Is anyone at all going to go look at, go comfort Sink or talk to Sink? Well, Anar is now headed down there, so he probably sees him. I don't know if Sisepia should or not, because I don't know. I think in character it makes sense for Sisepia to stay by Talia for yeah. the rest of the night. I don't think he wants, she would want to be away. As much, as awful as I'm sure she feels bad mm-hmm. for Sink, I think her priority is I need to be with my daughter and exactly. watch her all night. Yeah. I think is what, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And Arkara, are you s- still with Meridi? Yes. She'll just okay. stick with So Meridi. you and Meridi will just, you know, have their have your girl moment. Have your female <laughs> support support moment. Anar, you will see Sink. And what is Sink doing in the hangar? In the hangar? Um, he's just kind of standing around with the boxes, and he's just kind of crying. Okay. And uh. <clears throat> He's going to wait for you to, like, say something, uh, Anar. Um, I imagine he's still holding the hammer. So all yeah, he does Anar is still just, has the hammer. He floats up to you, and then he hands it to you. All right, and, uh... Yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry if I get emotional. <laughs> uh, he'll hold it, and he'll, he'll say, um... You know, someone once told me, uh... The love of my life, actually. She said that... She said that everyone that you meet in your life has something to teach you. And uh, once once you've learned everything that you could, it's time for you to you each go your own way. <laughs> I just wish he didn't have to go that way. Um, upon hearing that, Anar visually flinches. And whenever he flinches, I guess inside his head, um, accurately kind of sounds like the scratching of an LP. Because every time he does okay. that, an image flies in his head. And the moment okay. you said that, um, a little... He sees a field of bodies. Okay. Flinches again. And he sees... um, Cyrus on his knees in a field. Again. And finally, a little girl being held by dead hands that are covered in blood and again now there's a gun pointing at her then he snaps out of it this one has no words to share with you of hope but you are much stronger than some of us are never forget that doctor Never forget. Thanks, Edward. There's one more question I have to ask. Yes. I know when I asked this before, we, uh, things were a little heated, so I guess now that things have calmed down, I'll ask him once again. If she happy? It doesn't want to lie to you. It doesn't know. Not anymore. But this one hopes. And he pats your shoulder. 
<laughs> That's all I need to know. And he'll, uh, <laughs> he'll go to his, uh, his quarters. Uh, and with that, he uh, he just goes to his now probably fully repaired mech, shuts off Pipsqueak, who he had working on it the entire time, and just sits inside. And then he closed the blast shield. And I guess what he does next is some mystery. After that, all is quiet on the ship once again. Until next time. Ooh. End session. Ooh, buddy. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. Well, you guys, that was a oh my gosh. Well, oh. well, I had fun. How about you guys? <laughs> that was amazing. I warned you guys oh, when we began that this session was going to be different. <laughs> I yeah. warned you. Yes, she did. Not necessarily in a in a comfortable way. Oh, I feel bad now. I feel responsible for Drevy's death because we were all saving daughters. <laughs> oh. well, I think Saint knew scientifically. Then... I think we all got a little bit of trauma out of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I did too because it just goes to show because going into this um, session I wasn't exp I wasn't. Planning. I honestly was not planning on killing any one off, any NPC off. It's just the way things played out. Uh, Everything lined up. If it hadn't been for for that side of the room to be completely tied up in a singularity, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for that, and just it just seemed like just all of the choices that people made just all yeah. just lined up. perfectly lined up yeah. to that. It reminds me of um, the situation with. Um, that situ the, the infamous uh, situation with Maximilian yeah. against the group because yeah. none of us planned for that really intense scene to happen. It just, it just organically, mm -hmm. that's how it went based on everybody's choices plus just me nudging it along. And it's just beautiful. I mean, it's sad, but I think it's the pure raw emotion. Yeah. Like everyone was tearing up and I was like, this is it's horrible, but it's... Yeah. It's this is why I love this game. It's the game. Yes. It's, it's the, the game. game. It's, it's yeah. what the game and is. Yeah. It just feels as a as a game game master, I feel really good that you guys have gotten to the point this is only session seven, where these characters feel real to you and they matter to you and almost like they are your own personal friends and losing someone like that, it's just beautiful for me to see in that sense so Dylan I'm gonna Ooh. send you chapter 10 because I just I just wrote I just started writing Drimmy and Sink as real bros and it was, yeah. uh, and I was yeah. really looking forward to writing a lot more of that and I'm uh, not gonna get to anymore uh, that's <laughs> oh. gonna be so sad. it was beautiful oh. I'm so sorry it's okay oh, no, no, no. <laughs> It's gonna be brilliant, but it so could be sad. any of us. It's gonna be wonderful, but it's, it's also. I mean, really they good. could. I mean, you could whatever scene they have, you could still insert it before this happened. Oh, I know. Could, it's, technically, uh, oh, could it insert is. it in. It's just, it's just more a case of. Uh, it could have been. There's gonna be a very between, quick uh, point to all those conversations. Oh, man, to Chanka. Oh. Now, what's interesting now ah. is that you left us no hint of what's coming next outside of us all mourning. Yeah. I mentioned the next we'll thing that we'll out. have to do though yeah. is uh, we'd have to go to the green universe to get the sample that the Krogan sample, then hop back over to the red universe and hop back. Uh, to uh, yeah, but we don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, true. Just yeah. That's true. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to get further, but I didn't want to shift. I didn't want to shift the mood and end on yeah. the circle because I think it's fitting. That was a good. That was a good here. Yeah. Oh, that, that was, was, that was very Thank you for letting us. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, you're oh, welcome. That was because my scene would not have worked at the beginning of a session. Yeah. yeah, that wouldn't have worked at the beginning. I think I'm going to end no. that session there. That That's a good place to end it there. I'll, I'll cut it that way. I promise you that the next uh, few sessions are going to be a lot lighter, a lot happier. <laughs> I promise you it'll be lighter. I, I don't think Hard. that. I don't think... <laughs> next session, both Otto and Meridi get killed What's off. Really funny, <laughs> is that, um... yes. Our car still needs to have a moment with Otto. That's yeah. true. She, she's supposed to have had a moment for, like... 
I know. Three sessions I know. now, and it still I'm, hasn't happened. <laughs> I'm actually going happen. to be honest. Um, I secretly planned something with uh, Anna and Eric for it to happen. The only, uh, for some bonding to happen. The only problem is it never came up. Yeah, no. <laughs> it may still happen. Yeah, next game. Maybe. Oh, by the way, when you said uh, the lightness, which that kind of made me remember something. Um, uh, the first time we all talked to uh, Reclusiarch. He actually said when he was watching our game that it w felt a lot more lighter than his game. Was. Oh, just yes. white. I honestly felt <laughs> I honestly felt like you were setting us up for one hell of a uh, waterfall. Yeah. 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 I'm looking this at, was the I'm one. Looking at your picture, yeah. Anna. Now it's Sadakara. Yes. That's amazing. You've been changing that face legitimately. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. <laughs> I have to say that I'm happy that you guys made the choices that you did because I think that um, if you had gone to Invictus first, it wouldn't then have, well, it wouldn't have been nearly as It wouldn't have been nearly as impactful no. because you no. wouldn't have established your personal backgrounds as much. Mm -hmm. You would not have had as much. Drimmy would not have as, had as much screen time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the way that you chose to do this was perfect. The way that you can't chose where you were going to go next. Uh, so, thank the dog. Well, Being been so amazed with the fact that we probably wouldn't have thought to bring him along to this. Right. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, it it make it made sense to bring him along. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was actually sense. gonna suggest that we get it being uh, ready because. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I would have been. I mean, think if you had brought if you had brought Otto or if you had brought Mridi or if you had brought you know Cyrus. Cyrus. I feel like Cyrus would not have been as as impactful. I think I agree. if something happened to him. I agree. Yeah. But I think Mridi Otto or Mridi would have been. Mridi would be Mridi interesting if she was because... the one. Yes. You know, just for the record, I almost, if you didn't kill I almost him, I probably would have killed him anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, I was considering um, suggesting bringing uh, Mridi because she was so more funny. of the techie, more of, than the mechanical. Yes. That one's gonna. Yeah. yeah, we need a hacker. Dreamy. We should bring Mridi. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Distributing uh, experience to you guys is gonna be hard on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's gonna be hard. That's it's gonna be this one. Uh, uh, 